Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me for this deep relaxation. If you're new to this channel, my name is Emily. It's really nice to have you here. If you're here all the time, thanks for coming back. Thanks for joining me again. All you're going to need for this practice is a blanket. If you want to use cushions and things like that to just make things more comfy as we come to lay down at the end, you're very welcome to. But the only thing you really need is some kind of blanket. If you don't have a blanket to hand, a towel will do. Um, and we're going to begin in a child's pose. So take your time to get set up. We're going to pause in this child's pose for a little while. So make sure you're warm, keep socks on, jumpers, whatever you need. And I'm going to use my blanket under my forehead as I come down into child's pose. But it's up to you if you want to use it or not. You can bring the knees together or you can have the knees wide. I find that a bit more comfy. But again, your, your choice. And then start to walk the hands out, lowering the belly towards the thighs or towards the ground and then resting the forehead down. And with your eyes closed, start to soften the muscles of your face, particularly your jaw. So I like to open my mouth really wide and give my jaw a little wiggle from side to side. It just helps to let go of some of that tension that we can get from gritting the teeth or clenching the jaw often without realising. Let your shoulders relax. And begin to notice your breath. Maybe you notice that your breathing is starting to slow down that it's becoming a deeper breath now. And see where in your body you feel your breath move into. As you breathe in and out, maybe you feel some movement through your belly, maybe in your chest, maybe your back or your shoulders. Take your awareness to that place, wherever you feel the breath moving. Just follow that rhythm, the rise and fall as you breathe in and breathe out. And just for a few final breaths here, see if there's anywhere in your body that you can soften, that you can relax a little bit more. Start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And then we'll start to gradually lift back up. So walk your hands back in so that they come under your shoulders. Lift your head. Use your hands to help you as you come up. Just sit up as you are without changing anything. Notice anything you feel, maybe some sensation as the energy kind of flows back down from the head into the lower body. Okay, now bring your knees 
to about hip distance apart as we sit back and take a little stretch for the toes. So lean forwards first, tuck your toes under. You're welcome to pop your blanket under your knees here if the knees are feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And then sit back as much as you're comfortable sitting back. So it doesn't have to look like this. You can be up here and still get a really good stretch through the feet. Go to a place where you can feel that sensation, a stretch through the toes, through the soles of the feet, without any pain, without anything that's too jarring. And just relax your hands on your thighs, relax your shoulders down. Take your gaze forwards and just to add to this, I'm going to take the right ear towards the right shoulder. So we're still looking forwards, but just allowing the right ear to drop towards the right shoulder. So we get this deep stretch down the left side of the neck, deep stretch into the feet. Try and keep the jaw soft. If it feels really intense, then deepening the breath can help or maybe exhaling through the mouth. few more breaths here. And for the last couple of breaths, if you like, you can try bringing this right hand and just resting it on top of your left shoulder. So not pushing the shoulder down or forcing in any way, but just resting the hand on top of the shoulder, allowing the right ear to drop towards the right shoulder. Nice long breath. Let's go for one last breath. And relax the hand down, gently bring your head back to centre, lean forwards onto the hands and just untuck the toes. Give your toes a little wiggle around, maybe roll the ankles. And then just to counterbalance that, we're going to sit back onto the flat feet. So sit back towards your heels, you can take the blanket away if you don't need it there whatever feels best. Then relaxing the shoulders, gazing forwards, we'll take that stretch for the neck the other way. So left ear drops over towards the left shoulder, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Notice if any tension has arrived in the jaw again. Anytime you need, you can take that wiggle of the jaw from side to side just to loosen off. And then for the last couple of breaths here, you might choose to bring this left hand to rest on top of the right shoulder. Again, without forcing it, without straining through the neck, just resting the weight of the hand onto the shoulder for a slightly deeper stretch into that right side of the neck. Okay, then releasing the hand, lift your head back to centre. Just for a moment, turn your head to look to the right, turning as far as you can, bring it back to the centre, and across the other way, looking across to the left. And then back to the centre. Lovely. Take that blanket out of the way, just pop it up near the top of your mat. We're going to come up into a downward facing dog just for a moment. So bring your hands up to the top of the mat, tuck the toes, push into the hands, lift your hips up high. And take a little pedal through the feet, bending and straightening the legs. And from here we'll walk the hands back towards the feet. So take it slow, rock onto one hand and then the other, kind of pad the hands back until you come into a forward fold. Then shuffle your feet just a little wider, almost as wide as your mat. Bend your knees generously so your belly is kind of resting, maybe on your thighs or maybe between the thighs. We're going to cross the arms, grab hold of opposite elbows and let your arms hang down. So 
So there's no holding around the shoulders. We're not holding on to anything there. We're allowing everything to just drop. The head is heavy. Arms are heavy. There's a bend in the knees. We get this lovely stretch through the back. Close your eyes. See if there's any way that you can soften, that you can release a little bit more from the neck or from the shoulders. Okay, then release your arms, let them hang down. Start to look forwards as you bring your fingertips to the ground. Turn your toes out. Bend your knees. We're coming into Malasana, this yogi squat. So dropping the hips, the knees are opening wide. You might have uh, the heels lifted up, that's okay. Gazing forwards, try and use the upper arms to just push the knees out. So think about lifting your chest up. Again, relaxing the jaw. We're going to move through a little sequence from here. Slow and steady. So lean forwards onto your hands and let that help you to lift your hips back up. As you do that, turn your toes back in so the feet are parallel again. So coming back to this kind of ragdoll position, the arms just hanging down, still with a bend in the knees. Then we'll take the arms behind the back, interlace the fingers and reach your knuckles up towards the ceiling. So shoulder blades squeeze together as we extend the arms behind the back. The head is still heavy, arms are reaching up towards the ceiling. One more breath here. We're going to move from here back into Malasana, into that squat, moving really slowly. Start to bring the arms back down so they can drop down towards the ground. Let everything be in slow motion as you move here. Turn the toes out. Fingertips are on the ground, we drop the hips down, open the knees wide and look forwards. Pause here and take a breath. Then we're heading back up again in slow motion, leaning into the hands, lifting up the hips, turn the toes in. Then reach the arms up behind your back, maybe crossing the thumbs the opposite way this time. Interlace the fingers. Reach the knuckles up to the ceiling, big stretch through the shoulders. And then we're starting to head back down, slowly releasing the arms, let them hang down to the ground. Turn the toes out, drop the hips, open the knees out wide, Malasana. Take a breath. Going one more time, start to lift the hips, again no rush, go as slow as you can, turn the toes back in, reach the arms behind the back, interlace the fingers, draw the knuckles up towards the ceiling, this time maybe straightening the legs a little bit more if that feels good. One more breath here. And then gently, slowly releasing the arms. Come back to this forward fold and now just shuffle the feet back in so they're about hip distance apart. So then you're going to walk the fingertips forwards, bend the knees, bring the knees down to the mat. And come through to tabletop position. So hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. Nice. We'll take the left foot, I'm going to swivel that left foot off the mat, 
reach the right foot towards the back of the mat and take this right arm up. So we've got a big stretch through the right side of the body coming up. So first of all, just check this left hand is under your shoulder and try and get the hand, knee and foot that are on the ground into almost a straight line. Then reach up with the right fingertips and then bring this hand up and over. So we're stretching out all the way along the right side of the body. Draw in from the belly button a little, a little bit. So using the core here, push into the left hand. Lovely. And just let your head drop over. One more breath. And then start to bring this hand back down to the mat. We're going to bring this back leg, so the right leg, bring the knee forwards, coming into pigeon pose. So right knee is coming to just behind the right wrist. The right foot is going to shuffle across towards the other side of the mat. Tuck the toes at the back and start to take that knee back. So dropping the hips as low to the ground as you comfortably can. Make sure that back foot is still in line with your hip, but it's not drifting off the side of the mat. Then untuck the toes. We want to feel this through the right glute and into the outer part of the hip and the thigh here. And then you can start to fold forwards, lowering down onto the forearms, maybe onto the palms, or you can use your blanket here to rest your forehead onto. I'm going to stay here for a little while. So make sure it's as comfortable as it can be. If this is really not good on your knees, if you know that pigeon pose is not one for you, then come out of it and I'll take you into a different version. So as an alternative, you can come onto your back, cross your right ankle over your left thigh like this, opening out the knee, and then bring this left thigh in towards you. So this should be a bit more gentle on that knee. Relaxing the shoulders and breathing deeply here. So this is another option. If you're down your front, try and soften into this shape. Again, I know this one can feel intense. So try not to hold any of that intensity in the jaw, in the forehead. Try not to bring those, those, um, areas into a state of being tense. Let the jaw soften, keep your forehead soft as well. Just a little bit longer here. You're doing really well. Okay, one final breath. And take your hands under your shoulders. Just push into your palms to help you lift all the way back up. If you're doing the version on your back, just uncross the legs and start to make your way back to tabletop position. If you're in this version on your front, tuck the toes at the back, start to edge the knee forwards and then slide this leg through. It usually feels pretty good to just straighten that leg out to give it a little stretch. And then we'll meet back in tabletop position, knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders. Take the right foot, let it swivel off the mat, extend the left leg, and take the left arm up towards the ceiling. So taking this big stretch for the left side of the body now. So again, just check that the wrist is under the shoulder, that the hand, knee and foot are pretty much in a straight line. And really start to reach away with the left toes, stretching out through the side of the leg and then bring this arm up and over so we get a deeper stretch along the left side of the torso. Let your head drop over, but keep this right arm active, pushing through that hand. One 
One more breath. And taking this left hand back down to the mat, we're coming into pigeon pose, bringing that left knee all the way up. So left knee comes up behind the, hat, the wrist, left foot crosses over, and then we tuck the toes at the back and start to edge that knee back. Again, be really gentle, really mindful of your knees. If this isn't good on this side for your knees, come out of it and I'll show you again in a sec how you can do that version on your back instead. Take a moment to get settled here, then untuck the toes and come down either onto the forearms or maybe resting your forehead onto your blanket. See how it feels on this side. Maybe there's a difference in the sensations that you're feeling. If you want to do the version on your back, I'll just repeat that on this side in case you missed it before. So that version with lay back, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, keeping the ankle flexed, opening this left knee out, and then bring this right thigh in towards you, like so. So we get this deep release through the left glute, into the outer part of the hip, maybe even into the back of the, the thigh, into the hamstring a little bit. It can feel very different from one side to the other, also from one day to the next. So as you rest here, as you soften into this shape, notice what you're feeling. Stay with it just a little bit longer if you can. Make this your final breath. And then slowly we'll begin to lift. Bring the head up, bring the hands under the shoulders and then push your way up. If you're on your back, just uncross the legs and stay on your back. That's where we're heading next. If you're coming out like this, then tuck the toes at the back and start to edge that knee forwards until you can slide your left foot through. And again, it may feel good here to just give that left leg a little stretch out. Good. And once you're ready, we're gonna come down onto our back. So bring your blanket alongside you so you can cover yourself over with it in a moment. Come all the way down to your back and bring your knees in towards your chest. As you hug your knees in, take a slow movement from side to side. Rock the knees over to the right and then over to the left. And if this is a movement that you do regularly, try and go even slower than you usually would. Bring one hand onto each knee and we're going to open the knees out, coming into happy baby pose. So open the knees out wide and open the feet out as well. With the hands on the knees, you can just sort of gently push the knees out like this. Then we're going to flex the feet and start to lift the feet towards the ceiling a little bit. Reach your hands now either to the inside, the inner arches of the feet or maybe round to the outer edges. With your arms on the insides of your knees rather than out on the outside. So we're getting a big opening around the hips, big stretch into the groin, drawing the knees in towards the armpits, the soles of the feet are looking up towards the ceiling. 
If this doesn't feel good on your lower back, I want you to think about drawing your tailbone, the very base of your spine, down towards the ground. So you can flatten out that lower part of the back to make this a bit more comfortable. So using the deep core muscles to get there. So that tailbone is going to draw down towards the ground. And then we can enjoy this pose a little bit more. So using the hands to kind of draw the knees closer towards the armpits. You can find a bit of movement here if you like. A little bit of a rock again from side to side. Something I like to do here is take one leg and sort of straighten it out, or it doesn't have to be totally straight, but you can stretch it out a little bit. And then coming through and stretching out the other leg. See what feels good in this happy baby pose. There's no rules, no right or wrong. Just see if there's any way that your body wants to move here. And we'll start to let this go. So just let your feet start to come back down, releasing your grasp on the feet. And bring your feet to the mat with a bend in the knees. Take your arms out by your sides with the palms facing up. And let both knees drop over to the right. Have a little shuffle again to get to a point where this twist feels relatively comfortable for you. Relax your shoulders onto the mat and you can choose to keep your head in a neutral position just looking straight up or if you like you can turn your head to the left bringing your left ear towards the mat. And as we move into the final part of our practice together start to engage with a simple pranayama breathing technique we're going to breathe in for a count of four and out for a count of four. I'm going to let you count so you can set your own pace, but let it be a slow count. Breathing in, counting up to four and breathing out, counting up to four. Keeping that count going, slowly bring one knee and then the other back to the centre and take this stretch over to the other side. Let the knees drop over to the left. Again, have a shuffle, get settled in a version of this that's comfortable, either with the head neutral or maybe turning your head to the right now. And once you're settled there, if that interrupted your counting, start again, softening the muscles of the face, focusing on counting to four as you inhale, counting to four as you exhale. in the breath and just let it flow freely as you start to bring the knees back to the centre. Bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a little hug as you hold the knees close. And if there are any final stretches you'd like to take, you can do those now. Once you feel ready to rest, extend your legs, grab your blanket, Take the time to cover yourself over to 
get warm, to get comfortable. Then rest your arms out by your sides with your palms facing up. Let your shoulder blades settle underneath you comfortably. So you might just shuffle your shoulders down away from your ears a little bit. Make any other adjustments that will help you to get more comfortable. And then commit to being still for the next little while. And as we settle into Shavasana, I want you to take your attention to different parts of the body as I mention them. And feel that part of the body relaxing as you take your awareness there. Beginning at the forehead, eyebrows, and the muscles around the eyes, moving down to the cheeks, the jaw, the chin, feeling softening in the neck and the shoulders. Moving down the arms, past the elbows, down to the forearms, the wrists, and each finger. Moving now to the chest, through the back. All the way down the spine, softening down to the buttocks, the hips, the thighs, the knees, down to the lower legs, the ankles. soles of the feet and into each toe. The whole body is at peace. Keeping your eyes closed and keeping your body completely still. Notice how it feels to be at rest, to be completely peaceful. 
slow and still. Take a really deep breath. Feel your belly rise as you breathe in. Feel it fall as you breathe out. awareness to your toes as they get a little wiggle around. Just gradually coming back into the body. Now do the same with the fingertips. Just wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Once you feel ready and awake enough to do so, reach your arms up overhead and take a big stretch through your whole body. Lift one knee and then the other. Turn to lay on one side. Just going to rest here for a moment longer. There's no rush to get up or to get moving again. Just pause, curling into a ball, resting on one side. You're welcome to just finish there. It will take a little bit longer to lay down, to rest. Or if you like, you can come up and finish in a seated position. Wherever you are, take another deep breath. for joining me for this practice. I hope you're feeling relaxed and peaceful. Have a wonderful rest of your day or your evening. If you're going straight to bed now, have a wonderful night's sleep and I hope to see you again very soon.